So, if you're about to build a PC within a fairly decent budget, you probably consider going for an all-in-one cooling solution for your CPU. There are so many good ones out there, but there's a new kit on the block that you might want to check out. The Z9 Neo by Zalman brings all the right features on a budget. With a large window side panel, 5 included fans and an excellent interior layout with super simple cable management. Get it now, link in the description below. This is the AlphaCool Ice Bear 240. You guessed it, it's a 240mm all-in-one liquid cooler. And it's priced at $130, which I would say is very much in line with the competition, but there's a twist to this. Unlike some other pre-built coolers, AlphaCool is not only looking towards high-performance cooling, but also expandability with this AIO. That's an interesting approach considering the price. If you recall, our last AIO review was the Predator 240 from EK Waterblocks, and while it did leave us with a solid impression on performance, there were some quirks around installing that ginormous radiator inside my PC. Check it out in the link below. Also, the price of $200 was a bit extreme even though its cooling potential was simply awesome. The Ice Bear 240 shouldn't have any of those problems because for one, its radiator is only 30mm thick and installing the CPU block on an X79 board shouldn't cause any clearance issues, but I'll go in depth about it shortly. The physical aspects of this cooler are very simple. You get a fairly decent ice wind stock fans spinning at up to 1700 RPMs and a custom water block reservoir combination. Nothing too different from the offerings from Corsair, NZXT and a host of others. The Ice Bear doesn't use any aluminum radiator yet instead it uses a copper-based Nexus unit which has been painted in jet black to give it a low-profile look. Looking at different angles, you can spot the copper sheen from the fins inside. AlphaCool has implemented their own 11mm HF PVC tubing for both its tight bent radius and its UV stability. It looks pretty good, but clear tubing would have been simplified finding any air bubbles within the loop. The water block reservoir is huge and features a clear window, so finding and removing those bubbles via the full port is easy. I would actually recommend running this unit outside the case for a few minutes while paying close attention to the reservoir to spot any air bubbles as the process of removing them would be less stressful when the system is inside the case. The Ice Bear uses a DC LT pump, which is surprisingly quiet considering it spins at 26,000 RPM. What's even more impressive is that this pump is capable of pushing 70 liters of fluid per hour with minimal pump head pressure. This 3-pin pump backstopped by an actual reservoir of coolant blows the doors off any closed-loop AIO on the marketplace, in my opinion. Remember how I talked about the company approaching expandability with the Ice Bear 240? If you notice, there's a large quick disconnect coupling within the tubing. This allows the user to add another radiator, reservoir, or an entire second loop, like a GPU cooling solution. Um, this eliminates the need to first drain and refill the system. Expect a minor amount of fluid and air leakage when you disconnect and quickly connect the coupler. The installation process was an interesting and very different experience for me. Make sure you have the instruction manual beside because I had to refer to that a lot. Once you attach the mounting bracket to the water block, move on to installing the itty bitty parts. Uh, since I'm installing it on an X79 board, I don't have to worry about the rear supporting bracket. As you can see, the screws have to go through the springs and the washers have to be attached to the other side of the bracket. Getting everything in place is also a lesson in futility since the stiff tubing tries its hardest to yank the block out of its place. Uh, it's a tedious process at best and I think that AlphaCool should have borrowed some of this process from other brands. My H100i was a lot easier to install than this. Even with the block being large, you won't have to worry about interference with the DIMMs of any motherboard that supports the Intel CPU sockets. Though I wouldn't recommend you install the Ice Bear 240 in a mini ITX case. Make sure the mounting holes inside your case supports 15mm spacing too. Thankfully, installing on my Antho Lux was a no-brainer considering the wide variety of configuration it supports. Now all that's left is installing the fans, but unfortunately, there's no built-in fan controller. AlphaCool expects users to use their motherboard to control the fans, but since they use a simple 3-pin setup, the ability to control them is minimal. They really should have included 4-pin PWM-capable fans. So how does it perform? Let's take a look. These results are pretty impressive for a relatively small and compact water-based CPU cooling solution. It's right up there competing with dual 140mm radiator-based solutions in terms of noise. The drawback was the two fans were not that powerful nor that fast. 
Don't get me wrong, the Ice Bear 240 is an excellent cooler and very quiet, but you can't unleash its true performance potential with those two slow stock fans. On the acoustic side of things, this is by far the quietest AIO solution we've come across. The Ice Bear 240 from Alpha Cool brings some interesting features to the table. For one, it's literally made up entirely of Alpha Cool's premium products combined together in one simple, relatively easy to install kit. Everything from the radiator to the pump has been designed for water cooling enthusiasts, and the best part is that it comes in a relatively simple and clean package. I will admit, the installation procedure was tedious, plus the uh, inclusion of stock fans that do not support the PWM standard is a bummer, and that significantly hits performance too. The quickest fix to this would obviously be opting for a better, faster, and more efficient fans, but that will add to the overall cost. So what do you guys think about this new AIO cooler from AlphaCool? Uh, definitely share your thoughts down below. I'm Ebor with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.